Hey everyone, Justice Good here. Have you ever wanted to apply an effect over a whole group of photos without having to individually edit and save each photo? Well, Photoshop has a few tools to help you automate this process a little bit. And the first thing we want to do to get on our way to batch processing is create a new action. So if you go over to your adjustments panel, you should see actions somewhere here. It's a box with a triangle in it and it says actions. If you can't find it, it's also under window actions. And here you have a list of sets. So let's click here to create a new set. And we're just going to call it my action set. Just as an example. Now as you can see, there's nothing inside this set. So we have to create our new action here with this little create new action button. And you can name it whatever you want here. So I'm just going to name it tutorial because I'm going to show you how to create an action. Now that you see that this red light is on, Photoshop will now begin recording every step that you do to this photo from this point. So for example, if I head over to layer, new adjustment layer, and select gradient map, and I can choose, let's choose this orange and blue gradient and reverse it and I'm going to make a quick simple color effect here let's turn the opacity down to about 70 percent and let's set the blending mode to hard light so there's a quick little color effect there nothing too complex just a simple one layer thing but as you can see Photoshop recorded me making the adjustment layer setting the gradient map setting the opacity to 70 and setting the blending mode to hard light. So once you're done, you can click stop playing and recording. And there you go, you have the whole action all compiled into however many steps you took. So if I head over to this other photo, select the action and click play, it immediately reproduces all the steps. Now you want to be as general and try not to be too complex when you're creating these actions because there you can run into some errors but you'll figure that out on your own now what we want to do if we want to process all these photos with that same effect is head over to file automate and select batch now you have a window that comes up and I'm going to explain to you all these drop down menus here you can choose the set of actions that you want to choose an action from so as you can see I just created that new set called my actions and then you can choose the action in that set. So I'm going to choose the tutorial action, which was the only one there. Source is Photoshop asking you what files to apply this action on. So you can select a folder where you have all your JPEGs saved, or you can select open files, and Photoshop will work with everything that you have opened. I'm going to choose that. Destination you can select folder to save all of these photos into a folder that you've created. So I'm going to go ahead and select choose and specify to Photoshop the folder I want to save in. So I have a folder that I created called after and it's on my desktop. Now under these file naming boxes you can create a combination of specific info to name your file. So let's say I select fishing trip and then I use the date in date, month, and year format. And then I specify a serial number so that Photoshop will just throw a 1, 2, and then a 3, and then a 4 at the end of my file so they're not all the same. You have to make your file names different. So now if I just go ahead and click OK, Photoshop applies the effect and gives me the saving options. So I click Format. JPEG, OK, maximum setting, and click OK. And just continue saving. So save, OK, JPEG, save, OK. And now they should all be in our after folder like we told Photoshop to. And of course, here they are named just how you told Photoshop to name them. And with the effect applied on them. So as you can see, fishing trip, March 3rd, 
2012, then the serial number 1. March 3rd, 2012, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4. So now you can see how batch processing can save you a lot of time. And even just creating an action for your effects can save you a lot of time. But, of course, I only worked with four photos here. But the more photos you work with, the faster and more useful this process is. And you can do this for more than just color effects. Anything that you can turn into an action, you can batch process with it. So let me know what you think about this Photoshop feature and if you think it's useful or not. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe for more and leave me a suggestion or a comment about something you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.